we're going to tie a bareback rider. Bareback rider is a relatively relatively new fly. It's I tied it about 10 years ago maybe. My wife came up with the name. Kind of a nice name, B E A R back rider. Starting off here with uh, an antique gold silk thread, Pearsall silk thread, gossamer silk thread. And I'm using, people look at this and they go, well, why are you using a jig hook? Well, this is a 4660 Daiichi number six, number four actually, this is a four. It has a big gap, it's pretty stout, pretty stout hook. And the way the hook is, this fly will ride right side up every single time. The center of gravity with the eye and the hook down, the shank like that, below the shank like this, it's really effective for having to fly right side up every time. Here's Ice Dub Golden Brown. This is going to be my underbody. And we're just going to dub a generous amount of ice dub on here. Now this material is, a, is kind of different because if you look at it with the light facing it, with the light reflecting off of it, it's far different than it is when it's backlit. If you look at it into the light versus how the light shines on it, they're two very different colors. So when this is wet and under the water, it, it's a little darker than what this is. Now we're just going to wind this body on here. Nice and thick. I'm going to tie this thread off right here, right now. I'm going to start halfway on the hook. Halfway, I'm going to start a thread wrap. And with two foams, I have a one millimeter light brown craft foam and a three millimeter darker brown craft foam. And these are going to be my foams on top of the body. Now, stoneflies have legs that are placed evenly from the halfway point of the, of the insect towards the head. A lot of flies, in my opinion have the legs jammed too far forward. Well on these golden stones that I'm imitating the hind legs are actually closer to the back end of the insect than they are to the head. So I'm trying to get an anatomically correct fly here. Just making five equal segments. And 
I'm going to tie this off and just put a little drop of glue on here to keep it from ever going anywhere. A little drop of glue. coming apart, which is what we want. I do not like flies to come apart. Okay, so now my fly is about halfway bound on the shank. So now I'm going to come up one more. I'm going to start halfway between my halfway mark towards the head and bind this down. I'm just going to cross over on my dubbing and then I'll make my head. I'm going to cross over on top and then cross over on top again. This is all going to be covered with hair, so it's inconsequential visually. These are going to be my legs. This is Brown Perfect Rubber, and Brown Perfect Rubber is a silicone rubber made by Hedron Company, and it's a really great material to knot and super glue the knot. I can manipulate this rubber leg more than I can with any other rubber leg I've ever used. I'm going to tie this on the side, on one side. And I'll tie it on the other side. And what I'm going to do is manipulate this rubber in such a way that it becomes perpendicular to the body. or pretty darn close. I want it pretty perpendicular. I'm going to cross over and then I'm going to trim the front part of this short. And these are my hind legs. Now here's the tricky part. With a pair of tweezers, I'm going to make half hitches on both legs. For the leg facing me, I'm going to go under and over and draw this through. And cinch it. Now I can manipulate this, this knot with various tensions and I want this leg to go backward and almost the hind leg almost parallel with the body. Sometimes this takes a little manipulation. Okay and once you have it in place drop a drop of super glue on there and it won't ever move. Put it on the leg, on the, the knot, and then put a drop of glue on the body where the leg is attached.
Okay, then on the other side, we go over and under with our tweezers. Over, under. Manipulate it in such a way. You can push the knot forward a little bit. You can draw it backward, but all we're trying to do is get this leg to cooperate so the hind part is about flat with the body. So I need to rearrange that slightly. This takes time and a little patience, but it's worth it. It's a, it's a, has a good silhouette for legs. And then I'm going to glue this knot and next to the body. Next, I'm going to cross over, and now I'm going to tie my wing, and it's going to be made out of this bear hair again that I use on stoneflies, and this is a nice kinky, fluffy material. Pull out some of these long hairs. With a comb, comb out the fuzz. Trim the butt. Tie it on. Cross over. Bind this down. I can trim my head now, kind of in a square fashion. Because these golden stones have really square heads. I've never understood flies imitating golden stone flies that have pointed pointed heads because they aren't, they don't look like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the legs, the front and center legs, with one piece of rubber. Just take two strands of this perfect rubber. Begin in the center region that I have. that on. And here again, I want these legs to be fairly perpendicular to the body, protruding perpendicularly. I'm going to cross over on my hair, go back again, then I'm going to bind the rubber right behind the head. And I'm going to finish, whip finish this off. Trim that. Now, with these legs on the front, I'm going to go over and under. On, my, on this side, go over and under. So I can pull on this knot and bring that leg right around.
Now we glue the knot and then the rubber next to the body. The other pair of legs, I'm going to use my tweezers and go under and over. Under, over. under, over. Okay. Glue the knot. And then glue the top of the hair bound on the body and this way it will never ever pull apart. So we have all six legs, they're all knotted, they're positioned, we just cut them to length I will take this out of the vise in just a second after I comb this hair. Take it out, trim the back. What we're going to do is we're just going to trim this kind of short and put a little V action to it. Bareback rider. Taiwan on and letter buck. <laughs>